who's the uh, comedian in the, in the team? Uh, I, I would say Tino. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's just there and, and he doesn't thank you to <laughs> make a joke out of it. Yeah, Tino would be the one. Yeah. Who would you say is the best, best pair of hands in, uh, amongst the guys? Who's the, who's the safe pair of hands in the slip corner? Well, it's pretty... <laughs> It's hard to say, you know, but um, I think Maris, Maris is the only one I've seen, um, you know, do some serious catching down yeah. there for us and got a, a safe pair of hands. And the rest of us dropped a few, and, um, you know, we're not as good as, um, but Maris, I think, is, is good enough. Who's the, uh, who's the one guy that's, you know, in front of the mirror for a long time after the game, styling the hair, making sure everything's perfect? Oh, I really haven't. <laughs> I, I don't know because I don't really check up on these things. Okay. Who's, who's going in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> the guy that comes in and sort of gets the boys by the scruff of the neck and picks them up and, and gets them. Uh, sometimes the captain does that. Sometimes grunners. And you know, the, most of the time, there's the two guys who mm. would probably say something most of the time. Yeah. Okay. Who, uh, who would you say was the best person to uh, to bat with amongst the boys? Who's the guy that you like putting on a, a big stand with? Um, for, the, for, for me, it'd be Max. And most of the time we are out there and we, we spend a lot of time and we, we started to understand each other sure. better out there and um, yeah, I, I would say Matt. What would you say to, over the course of your long career was um, your most important innings? Mm. I have so many international innings, innings that I played that was really, really important but um, the one that stand out for me in, in this season was the one against Somerset. Yeah. You know, difficult wicket that bat on young team mm. and I thought like a hundred anything over a hundred would have been difficult for us to get on the wicket. Sure. That that was my thought while we were failing. Yeah. You know, I said if these guys get anything over a hundred it'd be trouble for us to get it because of the wicket. It's not like one side of the wicket was scruffed up. It's the entire yeah. thing in front of you was scruffed up. Sure and, the and so. it was both sides, you know what both sides of the wicket scruffed up. And you have Chawla and, and Leech, Leech and, yeah. and Bowl in there, and, and it was, you know, at any time, you know, you could get out, and, you know, we, we, we stood up there, and everyone came in and fight, and fight all the way, and, you know, the, the guys, the guys show good fight, given ourselves an opportunity, we show good fight, and, and we won games that people never thought we would have won, sure. even the, the commentators that uh, think in that game wrote us off, yeah. but we came out on top of it, and that's the fight we show in a lot of, a couple of other games also. Um, but the summer setting things for me would have been the one that's Final issue. Um, what's your earliest cricketing memory? <sighs> mm. Following my dad when they play in country cricket and, um, you know, I, I follow them and, and sometimes I go just, I, I was probably eight years old and I'd always carry my clothes to the 12 man duties and, <laughs> and sometimes everybody don't turn up to play and, and I'll get a, a squeeze in. I remember going with, with, with him and, and if, uh, all the guys didn't come up to play and I got a chance to play with them.